You know what just feels awesome? When a team that you absolutely just hate comes into your town and you just lay it to them in a rubber match, in an important game, and not only do you just lower the boom on them, you just grab them by the throat and you drown them in the Allegheny. And no one encapsulated that more than Rowdy Telez did Wednesday afternoon in PNC Park. What's going on, everybody? I'm Mac. Back with another video. As always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Follow on Instagram. Link is down in the box below. Pirates 5, the Hackbirds nothing. As the Pirates take two out of three, a huge, huge series win against the St. Louis Cardinals. And I emphasize that this is a huge series win for the Pirates because now we're only a game back of them in the NL Central. And not only that, we're a game back of them in the wild card. This was a series that we needed absolutely terribly, in, in, in the worst way possible, we needed it. Because like I said in my video I put out yesterday, this is one of those series that when the season's over with, you could probably look back on it and you'd be like, man, if the Pirates didn't take that series in July against the Cardinals after the All-Star break, they could they probably wouldn't be where they are right now. And that's exactly what the Buckos did. And it was in a it was a great response to Tuesday night when they dropped it two to one to St. Louis behind a magnificent outing by Paul Skeens, where he went eight and a third and struck out eight, and once again was let down by the offense and our manager. But now comes Martin Perez in the rubber match, who has been getting a lot of criticism lately, and rightfully so. I mean, the guy's confidence has just looked really off. He doesn't look like he's hitting the zone. His fastball doesn't look the same. His off-speed pitches aren't what they used to be. And even though he, even though I wouldn't say he lit up the Cardinals on Wednesday, I still think he pitched a really good game. I mean, after all, he went six scoreless innings. He only struck out two, but, you know, he was getting the outs. He was producing ground ball outs. He was getting the swings and misses. I mean, I wish some of them registered for strikeouts, but, you know, to his credit, I think he pitched really well. You know, I, I don't think it was a masterpiece. I don't think it was anything to really write home about, but all I saw was a guy who just went out there and did his job well. But then came the offense. Oh, man, the offense. A four-run second inning just absolutely blew that game wide open. And this is what I'm talking about with the offense right here. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, the Pirates don't need to score 10 runs every single night. They don't have to, you know, hit seven home runs every single game. What I'm asking for the Pirates to do offensively is to just be aggressive and to just cash in on situations. I'm asking them to hit with runners on. I'm asking them to be aggressive with base stealing. I'm, I'm asking them to be aggressive with base running and to execute fundamentals, and that's what the Bucs did. Did they hit the cover off the ball? I'd say no, but they just did their job at the plate. Wednesday afternoon, but the one guy who did hit the cover off the ball, how about Roddy Telez, man? Yes, I know I said I'm not a fan of his, and I, I retain that. I'm not in love with Roddy Telez or anything, but how can you not love a cannonball by anybody on the Pirates that goes to the Allegheny River? How can you not love that, man? Wow. 
Just absolutely wow. So yeah, five nothing. That was your final from PNC Park. Bucks are now fifty-two and fifty on the season. And I would say we have another important series coming up. We have we have uh, today off as we fly on down to Phoenix to play the Diamondbacks weekend series. I think that's going to be an important series. I mean, Arizona World Series hangover for them, but you can't really take them lightly. I especially wouldn't take them lightly. I mean, Arizona is a place where the Pirates have never really played well. It's a It's a big hitter's park. Pirates really haven't had a lot of success there, but this is a series to where it is a hitter's park and you got to be able to cash in and you got to be able to hit well. Got to beat Arizona at their own game. If you're not careful, Arizona can light up the scoreboard real well. We've seen it in the past. So just I, I, I just thought it was a great response by the Pirates coming off a, a very frustrating and inexcusable loss Tuesday night and to get to get the job done like that over St. Louis in the way they did that that was just a a great response and the streak continues the Pirates still have not lost a series since that Cardinals series on the 4th of July week so if you're doing the math right it's now been three weeks the Pirates have not lost a series in three weeks. I'd love for that to continue. They're obviously going to lose a series at some point, but they haven't lost a series in three weeks. Because remember, they split that four-game series with the Mets after that series with St. Louis, and I thought that was the turning point right there. So they're 2-2 two and two right there. Then they go to Milwaukee, of all places. The Pirates never play well in Milwaukee. And they lay it to the Brewers in the first game 12-2, to and they end up taking the series two games out of three. So they're 4-3 and three through seven right there. Then they swept the Chicago White Sox before the All-Star break. Seven out of ten right there. I mean... I'm not going to pump my chest about beating the White Sox. They're 27 and 77 as I'm recording this video. They did what they needed to do. They swept a they swept a horrible team. Two out of three against the Philadelphia Phillies after the All Star break at home. Nine and four in the last 13, and now two out of three against the Cardinals in a very important series. The Pirates have won 11 out of the last 16. A great stretch right there, a great sample size right there, and they got to take that momentum forward going into Phoenix. It's not going to be easy, but we'll see how it gets done. No stupid crap, hit with runners on, get the job done, and pitch well. Great series win against the Cardinals. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm Mac. Check it on out for the day. St. Louis, get off our lawn.